Let's say you wanted to calculate the driving distance between two cities. Turns out most of the maps applications on the magical interwebs now will do this for you. Obviously MapQuest, um, there's a whole bunch of Apple Maps, a bunch, but my favorite is Google Maps. So let's just say I'm in Denver, Colorado, and I want to, this is the capital of the state here, a pretty capital building, and I want to calculate the distance to Houston. Um, what my driving distance would be. You know, I can calculate time and I can calculate driving directions, but let's say I wanted to calculate the actual distance of driving. Well, it's actually pretty simple. So let's just say I wanted to go to Houston here, and I have so many options, but just doing a simple search is going to say this is how long it's going to take. It's going to take 15 hours and 48 minutes, but it's also going to be 1,031 miles. Now they show me as well all of these construction zones along the way, along my drive. Uh, but my brother lives just north of Houston, so it might be interesting for me to know about how long it's going to take, but also how many miles I will drive. Very simple, easy thing that you can do. Now, there are a couple of other really cool things you can do inside of the Maps application here in Google. You can actually share these driving directions. Um, you can do all kinds of interesting things in here. So if you're going to play around in here, just play around with it. Try it out. If you've not used the Maps application on your desktop, you get a lot more options easily accessible to you than if you were to use your phone. But that is how you calculate the driving distance from a one location to another. And then one nice thing here, let's just say I wanted to take a different route. Well, I can change my route just by dragging and dropping the location here and that'll give me the better or different routes um, based on what I'm looking for where I can just avoid highways and we can see how long it takes it takes about 18 hours if I avoid highways or if I want to avoid all tolls and I can figure that out as well and see how much longer that's going to take to avoid tolls um, I could also just avoid ferries which is not really an issue when going to Houston but lots of options here you can see uh, what the distance units are in miles or kilometers as well so pretty cool features in here. If you've not actually used this before on your computer, I would recommend doing it. But that is where you would look to see not only the drive time, but the actual distance, driving distance between two cities. And that is how to calculate your drive time and drive distance. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up below. Be sure to subscribe as we have more helpful videos almost every single day. If you have any questions that we can answer for you, please be sure to come and visit us at showmehowtodothis.com.